capital city of Saudi Arabia is rich in history, culture, and economic significance. It is the largest city on the Arabian Peninsula and one of the fastest growing cities in the world, offering a nice blend of traditional charm and modern development. It is home to over 7 million people, with more than 40% of that being expatriates from all over the world, including C. Ronaldo, Sadio Mane, and a host of others underscoring its metropolitan status. This was where I headed some weeks ago for my first ever full marathon at the age of 51. Oh, I, did, I did it guys, I did it guys, unofficial pace, 436 for the full marathon. Oh, at the finish line of the real marathon, oh yeah. Completing my first marathon, oh, I was hoping for a 430, but I'll take 436 any time. People are touching down the finish line of Renier. Push it a little bit That's forward like to collect your medals. So Welcome to the finish line. That that this yes, you guys made it. Welcome. Welcome to the finish line. Finish. Welcome to the finish line, guys. Many people believe that to run a marathon, you need at least three to six months preparation, which is what so many marathon training plans and apps advocate. This is good as it gives you time to gradually grow into it because the marathon is no joke, even if you've been running. But one disadvantage is that for some people, they continue to prevaricate and procrastinate and never actually get it done. What if you stumble on an opportunity to run a marathon in, say, six weeks, like I did? Can you take it? Can you do it? That's what happened to me, and I'm here to tell you that it can be done if you are ready to go all out and put in the work, especially if you already have some kind of fitness. So some weeks ago, I decided to embark on the toughest physical test I have put on my body yet. So guys, I just signed up for my first marathon. I'm 51 years old. As I was signing up today, my mind was like, can you do this? The marathon is just five weeks away. Will you be ready? Can you go 42 kilometers? But then I know that one way to get something done is to make the commitment. If you make the commitment financially, morally, then you will do what you have to do to be ready. So I went ahead and signed up. I know there are a lot that I need to do. There's a lot I need to learn and unlearn. Five weeks may seem short, but I know that there's a lot that can be achieved within that time. And I'm ready to do that. But one thing is sure, we are gunning for the 42 kilometer marathon and we will get it done. Was there a part of me that worried if I could finish? For sure. I'm 51 years old and my furthest distance so far actually running had been 22 kilometers. And that was over a year ago. So the concern was real. First of all, the full marathon distance is 42.195 kilometers or 26.2 miles. It takes four to six hours for the average recreational runner to complete a marathon. In fact, the average marathon time is 4 hours and 30 minutes. So the marathon is long, it is hard and tough, and is likely to challenge your mind and body to its limits. Yet, this grueling event has continued to captivate runners all over the world, even more year after year. In 2023 alone, 51,000 people completed the New York City Marathon, 48,000 in London. Here in Saudi Arabia, the marathon is a relatively new event, with the first episode taking place on the 5th of March, 2022. And about 10,000 runners graced that event, with only a small fraction going the full marathon distance. The next event in 2023 attracted about 15,000 runners. In this episode of 5th March, 2024, about 20,000 runners from 125 countries participated in the event, with 682 people going the full marathon distance. So why do they do it? Why does this grueling event become more and more appealing to runners every passing year? Well, I also questioned a lot of people during this last event and they came up with several reasons. Number one is the challenge. Many people think that this is at the essence of the human spirit, to challenge your body and mind and watch it soar. When I questioned many people in this past event, the commonest answer I got was, I need to challenge myself. And this resonated well with me also, because this is one of the major reasons why I also signed up. You know, I've been running for years, 
But I've been yearning to challenge myself to this event to see how my body handles it. The second major reason is the feeling of accomplishment. Less than 1% of all humans will ever complete a marathon in their lifetime. So to prepare for this event and finish it kind of sets you apart among that 1% and that gives a great feeling of accomplishment. And I will tell you that the feeling of accomplishment that I got at the finish line of this last event was overwhelming. It almost brought me to tears. We have to see guys. We made it. We made it to the finish line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh. Making it to the finish line. Smile, you a champion. If you complete a marathon, you are more likely to do it again. The third reason is also the health benefits. The health benefits of running are too numerous. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How old are you, sir? 67. 67. And you're going 42. Amazing. Hey. Fantastic. This shirt's coming off. <laughs> this shirt's coming off at about one mile. <laughs> and of course, the rigorous training leading up to the marathon itself doubles down on all these benefits. Most runners will lose weight during a marathon training. Your cardiovascular health will never be the same. After training and running a marathon, many runners report feeling different both mentally and physically. And this remains a motivation for many people. And there are also so many other reasons. You know, some people run for a cause they believe in, some run for a fundraiser, and of course we can never neglect the runner's high, which is also one of the reasons that motivate a lot of people. Immediately I signed up. The first thing I did was to go on a long run to see how far I can go and how much more work that is left to do. You know, with just six weeks before the marathon, I know I needed to expedite all my preparations and training. On my first long run, I was able to run 21 kilometers. Knowing my limitations and the work to do, it was time for me to formulate my training plan. I searched the term training for a marathon in six weeks. And of course, he came up with loads of suggestions, loads of training plans. I sifted through it all and then formulated my own training plan. My training plan consisted of four runs in a week. Every weekend was for long runs and I did not miss any of my weekend long runs. It's a minimum of 21 kilometers. Then during the week, I have an easy recovery run of 10 to 18 kilometers, a midweek interval speed session of one hour, and then tempo run of 10 to 14 kilometers every week. On days that I'm not running, I engage on strength training. My strength training included weighted squats, lunges, deadlifts, butt kicks, you know, all the works trying to strengthen the running muscles. During my long runs, I practice refueling, rehydration, and electrolyte replacement, you know, as much as possible, trying to simulate the marathon. In fact, one other thing I did was on the eve of the long runs, I drop water on my route at 2.5 to 3 kilometer intervals, you know, trying to simulate the marathon in such a way that when I get to such spots, I easily pick up the water and go. I don't have to stop and look for water. I'm planning to run 35 kilometers tomorrow morning. And once I get there, I just get to that place, bend down, pick up the water and keep running. Okay. So we hide the water on the route another water station so I just hide this one here and uh, tomorrow morning hopefully it will still be there. I tried so many options in refueling and electrolyte replacement and finally arrived at the ones that worked for me. I found the high five energy gels the best for me. They sat well in my stomach and their energy release was pretty quick. One thing I found out was that there was no substitute to putting your legs through the distance. I know most trainers do not advise running the full marathon in training, but I know I needed it because the way I was bonking and cramping during the training left me with a lot of doubts. And there was no way I was going for that race with doubt in my mind, you know, not being sure that I can finish. So running that full marathon in training did a lot to my psyche. You know, now I'm sure that I can finish the marathon. So the rest of the training was dedicated to trying to improve my pace. And it helped me, of course, in the actual race. I went there with conviction and confidence, knowing that I can do this. Did it hurt me to do the full marathon in training? No, not at all. Because I rested for some days, and within four days, I was able to continue my training. My last long run, seven days before the marathon, was that eight kilometers. And that was mainly to decide on the shoe to wear for the race. Because by this time, I was still torn between the Vaporfly 3 and the Adios Pro 3. 
and it was worth it. I finally decided on the Vaporfly 3. After my last long run, I practically rested for the rest of the week with only one easy run of 14 kilometers, four days to the marathon. Two days before the marathon, I left for Riyadh. And this is my lovely wife seeing me off at the train station. Unfortunately, she couldn't come with me to cheer me up in Riyadh. Due to prior family engagements, you know, this run was kind of impromptu. She's a runner herself and can easily do a half marathon. Likely next run is going to be a couple's run for us. I could do the another marathon and then she will do a half marathon. So, <laughs> that's it guys, we go. <laughs> for our train journey, I arrived in Riyadh and checked into my hotel. So I just arrived at the rear train station after a four hour train ride from the MAM. So, Riyadh Marathon, here we come. Decently rated hotels in Riyadh can be a tad expensive, you know, from 350 Saudi Riyadh or very close to $100 for one night. After some search, I went to this place in Al Yamuk on a street called Naja Street. That's about 20 kilometers from the city center. And I got very nice apartment that suited me very nicely for 180 Saudi Riyal. It was nice, light bed, clean sheets, nice bathroom, very nice sitting room. And the environment was also very good. You know, the street was quiet enough for any morning runs or walks. So it quietly suited me very nicely. The streets in that area also we are lined with loads of shops, restaurants and everything you need was within walking distance so it suited me very nicely. The next morning on the 9th I went to pick up my race kit at the Marathon village. There was a lot of fanfare. It looks real festive around here this morning. This is just about uh, 11 a.m. and you can see loads and loads of runners coming in picking their materials and leaving. This is really interesting it's going to be a real fun time man so many excited runners i interviewed a lot of people made lots of videos so this is the station for big collection and lots of excited runners lots of male and female runners yeah. interesting that you also can get lots of female runners in this city also unlike what many would have thought so that's it. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Angel. Angel. Yeah, I like your disposition. You know, very cheerful. I'm nice. I'm very happy to be here. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Yes, this is my first time, but I believe I'm with you. This is my number. This is my big number. Okay. Thank you so much. This will be here. So I'm flying the Nigerian flag here, age 51, in uh, 42 kilometers, Nigeria. Yeah. And then it was time to go home and rest. On the D-Day, I woke up at 4 a.m., took a small breakfast of granola, banana, oats, made my coffee, and then it was time to zoom off. At 5 a.m., I left, arrived at the venue 5.35. Loads of runners were already present. So much fanfare going on, so much excitement. Everybody was pumped. You know, it was a really nice feeling. So, how are you guys? How are you guys? amazing. We are ready for the marathon. Okay. What's your name? Stefania. Okay, and you? Jerry. Jerry? Yes. And you, sister? Sol, just call me Sol. Okay, what distance are you doing today? Uh, 42 kilometers. 42? Amazing, amazing. And of course, as usual, I checked out the shoes that fellow runners preferred to run in, made a lot of videos again and interviews, and then at 6.30, the elites took off. 
then 646 the rest of us zoomed off so race about to kick off and the mood is high so many people are high and of course i'm pumped very pumped for this and we are ready to go it's about to kick off in just a few seconds good morning good morning good morning what's up guys how you feeling we feel good that sound a little, a little bit more energy. How y'all feeling? We're feeling good. Okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. Give me some noise, give me some noise, give me some noise. Yeah! It's great to see all you guys. I hope you have a fantastic time. Yes. Run fast, run strong, run proud. So, just kicked off right now. The race just kicked off. The race itself was quite nice. I really had a great time. Lots of excitement. The first 10 kilometers were easy. I was chatting with fellow runners, made some videos, you know. It was a nice feeling. We are all pumped and going. Then after 10 kilometers, it was beginning to feel like a race. Just crossed 11 K. I'm now feeling like this is a race. But generally, my heart rate is good. My breath is fine. So we keep going. By 21 kilometers, the crunch was beginning to set in. But I was still feeling good, you know, as much as anyone can feel running a half marathon. So, we are halfway in, 21K. After 30 kilometers, I changed my strategy because by then I was now beginning to get tired. So I'm at the 30 kilometer mark now. Oh, I'm really feeling the crunch. Now is the time to dig in. Little telltale signs of cramp on my legs. But by and large, I can still go, keep going. I walk up the hills and then run down here and on flat grounds. That's the strategy for the remaining 12K. By then, I was too tired to make any videos. I was concentrating on keeping one foot in front of the other. And that's what we kept doing. And eventually hit the finish line at 4 hours and 36 minutes. And the feeling at the end was awesome. I don't think they could have chosen a better time for this marathon. You know, the weather was really nice on that day. I think around 14 to 20 kilometers, there were some light showers. So guys, it's actually raining now. <laughs> what an auspicious day to get some rain showers. I run with some group of guys here. Yeah? And we are about 15 kilometers in. The recreational spots, we are well spaced. There were also a few residents along the route that came out to cheer the runners on and a few of them also gave out some water. At the finish line was where everything happened. Huge fanfare at the finish line. Really excited runners, relatives and cheerleaders. It was a really fun event and uh, had a great time. Had a great time. Be running a marathon every year. <laughs> Despite the fact that we were tired, we still had time to socialize and then eventually call it a day. It was really nice. There were so many lessons from this marathon, both in running and all aspects of life. Registering for this with six weeks out, I was like, are you sure? But it goes to show that if you set your mind at something and are ready to put in the work, then I bet you, you are going to achieve that. I tell you that the progress I made in my running within these six weeks of training for a marathon is more than the past two years combined. So if you are still prevaricating, should I register for the marathon? Is it worth it? Why should I put myself through this pain? I will tell you, go ahead and do it. It is well worth every effort that you put in it. The rewards are amazing. The health benefits, the emotional benefits, the mental benefits, are just awesome and of course now i'm hooked the next one we should be thinking about trying to hit a sub four that's going to be my next time so guys that's it about this marathon episode uh, i thank you for watching i hope it's been a little entertaining for you uh, don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you in the next one